Hey guys, my name is Kayla. I'm 13. I'm in 8th grade. Today, I'll be hosting this video because my mother doesn't want to go on camera because she's like camera shy, but she'll be the one behind the scenes and doing all that stuff. So first, I wanted to briefly explain why we're doing this video. As you can see, I have long hair. Right now, it's straight and looks good. At least I hope so. <laughs> but typically, it's curly and very wavy. There's a whole process to doing my hair. I always get questions about what's in it, how do I get it to look this way, etc. Like, sometimes, like, at school, people ask me, like, if is your hair a weave? And then I tell them that, no, it's not. It's, like, actually my real hair. Go ahead and look. <laughs> and, um, they just say that straightforward. I don't believe you. So, I'm like, cool it. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, too. But here's my sister, Aunt Ariana. Or you could just call, we could just call her Anna. Right. Our hair is pretty much the same, except that mine is a bit thicker. So even though we'll be doing our demonstrations on my sister's hair, don't worry, the process and outcome So the first the step in doing our hair is washing it, of course. Now you can use any shampoo and conditioner you want, but we're using Suave Naturals Wild Cherry Blossom. Again, you can use any shampoo and conditioner. Just follow the directions. But my mother used Suave Wild Cherry Blossom. So my sister's hair is clean. Remember how it looked before? Well, now it's wavy and super curly. For now, for this next step, my mother uses a variety of leave-in conditioners which help protect our hair from damage. First, she uses Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. She puts some around our edges and in the middle of our scalp. Next, she parts her hair down the middle. She makes three sections on each side. First, she combs the section out and then applies three leave-in hair products. So remember to use a wide tooth comb. Also, really hurt. Notice how she's pulling them apart. Apply, apply the coconut oil in the middle of the scalp. Just like you did on the edges. Then clip over one side so you can do the other side without one side getting in the way. There will be one front section that you part. Then a middle section that she will get to shortly. Try to be gentle with very tangled hair.
apply grease every time you, you part it. Slash the coconut oil formula. It moisturizes the scalp and prevents it from cracking. Don't forget to apply the coconut oil formula on every time you part. Once you finish your second part on the side on the side you're on, then you'll first use Infusion 23 Repair and Renew leave-in treatment. All you have to do is pour and shake a bit on each side of the hair. And massage it in gently. Next you'll use the last QP olive oil and mango butter. Now typically we use the leave-in treatment, but they only had the curl defining pudding leave-in, but it works the same. Just massage it in gently into the hair. Next, you will use Garnier Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Split End Bandage. So she applies all three, then wraps it into a bun until she completes all of her sections. The split, the split in damage eraser only needs to be applied to the end of your hair. Comb out your hair good. Before you put it in the bun. Then apply rubber bands or uh, any hair tie you have available at the end. It should now be in a ponytail form. This is just to keep the hair from tangling. Be because, you know, we have long hair. Wrap it around, just like a normal bun, but smaller. 
Then grab another rubber band or hair tie or hair tie and wrap it around. So that was my mother doing the first section, so you can see how this process goes. But afterwards we'll move on to the next step. You should you should repeat this for all sections of the hair, both sides. Now, if my mom finishes up the last one, I just remind you guys. First, you use Infusium 23 Repair and Renew Leave-In Treatment. Just shake it on the hair and massage it in the hair. Then, Elastica QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter. Then, finally, you use Garnier Pretis. Damage eraser split in bandage. Now the next step in the process is the flat ironing. Now typically after washing, conditioning, and styling our hair in the buns, my mother will let our hair sit and dry overnight allowing the leave-in conditioners to settle in. But for the purpose of our video, we will start this process sooner, although the end result does not change. First, I want to show you our flat irons. We have a small, generic, quarter-inch wide flat iron. My mother uses this for the roots and edges so that she is careful not to burn us. She then uses the end style or flat iron to smooth and flatten the rest of our hair. Now I love this Instyler flat iron because it has bristles like a brush which helps you to detangle the hair as you flat iron which actually prevents the hair from being damaged like some typical flat irons. Another thing is we use this Olive Oil Professional Thermal Protect and Shine. It works great when you are applying heat to your hair by protecting it from damage and it smells really nice. So my mother uses the highest heat setting for both my sister and I, and this generic small flat iron only has one setting. Just to remind you, my sister's hair is a bit wet, but that's okay because the Instyler allows you to flat iron wet or dry hair. It just takes a bit longer to straighten. You first begin in the back. After removing the rubber band or hair tie, part a small line of hair. Then clip the excess hair out of your way. Comb as needed. Spray thermal oil on as directed on the bottle. My mother uses the small flat iron first to smooth the roots. Next, she uses the end styler to smooth the rest of the strand. Keep flat ironing until it's completely flat. Repeat this process for your entire head. We'll show you the beginning of this process, then fast forward.
Remember, this process is only taking a longer amount of time because of her, her hair is wet. Causing you to have to splatter one piece over and over again. Multiple, more multiple times. Yeah. So my mom's finishing up the last section of my sister's hair. So I'll show you one more time how the flat ironing process goes. First, after finish, after unpinning the hair, part a small section of hair, then spray the thermal oil on as directed. Comb lightly as needed. First, use the small flat iron to smooth the roots. Next, use the infiler to smooth the rest of the hair. Again, repeat this step through the whole part of the hair you're working on.
So this is the finished product. So thanks you guys for tuning into our video. Hopefully those of you that have the same type of hair as I do picked up a few tips to use. Bye.